I have the oven already preheated to 350. It's Saturday and now that school is open, I only go once or twice, depending on how I feel for the weekend. So I'm out here with my son who loves to leave me. You can see, he doesn't like running with me. I have no idea why. So Saturdays, I still try to get out here. I go was to do four laps because it's like 85 degrees. So we're on our third one and um, we just are walking the circle and then this is the straightaway and I'm about to run the straightaway and we do this four times. Yeah, I try to walk when it's hot like this. I don't try to go full throttle because like you can start seeing dots. <laughs> That's not cool. So we left the dogs at the house because normally when it's hot like this, they don't really want to run with us. They kind of sit in the shade. It's the whole idea of coming with us that makes them feel good, but they don't run. So I was just like, well, let's get out the house and then we could come to the um, park slash school and run around here. It's like 86 degrees. So I got this our last lap. I'm about to take the straight away again. And then, yeah, walk the circle. I'm using this. And this. And before I put this in the conditioner, I'm gonna put this mask in. Two things throw moisture in my eyes. And then I'm gonna wash it out and then finish it with this. I'll let you see the end. Okay, so my hair is done. Um it is still drying. I left the conditioner in there. I'm gonna leave it in there for all day today because I really, I don't, I don't, I do, I've been doing that for years. It has worked for me, for me to keep the conditioner in there. Um true transparency there this is a lot of hair and there has been moments when i wanted to cut my hair short and the moments are really bad in the summertime like the summertime is really bad i really have tried to cut my um thought of cutting my hair but i don't make impulsive decisions so i would actually just i started braiding it two braids but it's a lot of hair um it's still gonna air dry i'm about to do my yoga um one of the things that i don't like that's why i two braid it is one of the things i don't like about that i wouldn't say don't like but can be very frustrating that i had to work around is i have different textures in my hair i don't um i don't put chemicals in there and i only able because we live in georgia to straighten it a certain amount of time so it's only like a little bit of time I can straighten it. And I do put heat protection up there. But one thing that's frustrating about my hair is the different textures. As you can see, like if you lift it up, this part right here, it, it starts to like curl up a lot. Like it's thicker, it's, it's like, I don't know what you would call it, but it looks so uneven that, um, and no, I don't diffuse it or anything. I just let it air dry. I like that process of air drying it. I have, I wonder if I diffuse it, would it look different? But I like the two braids. So I will put the, um, tomorrow I will rinse it out and then put leave-in conditioner in there and two braid it. Or I'm trying to decide if I'm about to dye my hair black. Once a year I dye my hair black. It's usually around the time where I can straighten it. Cause I love when you straighten it and then you have like the, the, the the shininess of the black <laughs> I love that 
So I am gonna wa um I washed it because I was thinking of dyeing my hair black. Like I said, I only do that like once a year. My hair is pretty like black brown, if you can see. And I have one great funky stink strand. I only have one gray strand. It's right. See if I can't find it. I can't even find it. It, it literally sometimes like pokes up, but I can't find it right now. It's not poking up. So I have one gray strand, so I'm not dyeing it. I guess that's the reason why I don't dye it that often because I'm not dyeing it to hide anything. And I haven't even decided once gray comes in, if I'm going to embrace it or not, or am I going to shy away from, I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to, um, I'm going to still let this air dry. I'm about to do yoga. It's Sunday. I love doing yoga for a lengthy time. So I think I'm going to do it for about an hour. I'm not going to, I'm just going to wing it and see how I like, how I feel. Today I feel good. It's a beautiful day. So I am about to go do yoga. Um, the reason why some of my videos have been like sketchy, it's been storming every day. And I be thinking that I'm going to be able to go out and, um, you know, do garden or do something. And it's, it's like not just raining, it's storming. We've been having severe storms, so it's been limiting you know, me getting out and doing certain stuff. So that's the reason why I have some of the videos are not, I just can't, you know, like if it's storming, there's it's nothing I could do. <laughs> so today I want to um, bake some soil. So, cause I have to plant some seeds in the house and I always got to bake my soil before I um, put seeds in the house. Cause those nets in the soil are horrible so anyways this is how my hair turned out this is um i like if uh that product makes my hair feel so soft i like the way it detangled by the time i finished putting the that uh, mask in there i was able to just to finger through my hair and i love that that product it smells like a soft rose um smell it smells so good so i really like that product i like a lot of kale's daughter's products there's only been a couple that i didn't like so i like it if you like it i'll put the link in there you can try it if you like it so skid mark um i didn't even i haven't even had a chance to do my yoga yet my one of my dogs um was whining a lot and she pooped all in her cage she has the runs. By the time I let her out, scooped up in the blanket and dragged her downstairs, she threw up. So I am spending my morning cleaning up her mess. So the gardening, I'm just gonna go spray the garden and I'm gonna give it a clean. Luckily, it was all contained inside of her um, her cage. Thank God. So I'm washing everything. I'm spraying everything off. I'm vacuuming. I'm cleaning. Oh my gosh, it just it's just the aroma. Like, thank God that it was contained inside of the cage because I would have had like a cow. So I'm just washing everything now and I'm about to go outside and she threw up outside, thank God. <laughs> Two of those, like for both ends, I don't know. You know, it's so much stuff she could have got into. They have very sensitive stomachs. It could have been last night. It's, fro it's a bunch of frogs. It's a bunch of lizards. They're disgusting. So um, I'm just going to, when she gets upset like that, I wait like at least 12 hours before I give her some more food. So I'm going to wait to give her some more food so that, um, or feed her so that her stomach can settle. But in the meantime, normally I give them rice or pumpkin or something like that to settle their stomach. So I'm about to go give her a spoonful of pumpkin. It'll settle her stomach a little bit and help with her digestive foot. Whole little time frame has changed. I am, I don't put my hair up. I had to put my hair up so I could get up that, that poop. I was like, this is crazy. So it was, I caught her, she was whining really bad. So I caught her in time before like it was a mess so i just grabbed a big blanket and i carried a big butt downstairs like this is the worst part of having a dog besides the clinginess too yeah that's the worst part so i'm cleaning up their crap <laughs> just and it was only one dog and her stomach is not as sensitive it was spirit and her stomach is not as sensitive as soul so i'm really shocked i don't know they but they there's frogs they be playing with the frogs and stuff at nighttime so you, you just never know, but clean it up.
guys, it's Monday. Um, I just got finished working out. I did almost two hours. I did cardio plus weight training, felt really good. So this morning, as you can see, I started, I wake up sometimes early and sometimes I do my, my I love a clean house. So in the event that I wake up and I feel like cleaning, I clean and then I start my other stuff with the um, yoga and the meditation. So yesterday, Sunday, my dog, Spirit, she was upset, her stomach was upset and when she pooped in her cage thank god it was just in her cage but she pooped in the cage whew, i had to do a detailed cleaning on their stuff and wash everything and vacuum and do all of that stuff so my day kind of was like off the chain for a little bit so today i woke up and i did um clean my dining area i did the kitchen i also baked my soil so i could start planting you want to put soil in your house. See, I do it and I make sure it's covered. It's in this little tin that I got from like Walmart. It's a, um, let me take the top off. It's cool down now, cause it's like 1120. So I did this first thing in the morning. Um, if you want to have soil in your house, I suggest baking it. I baked it for about an hour. This is what the oven roasted, um, the oven what is it like a roaster pan <laughs> that's what it looks like so i baked it in 350 for like an hour i'm i don't usually use regular soil i use organic soil so i cannot tell you how the regular soil was smelling in your house but the organic soil when i bake it it's not you know because it can smell a little poopy but i don't smell it like that it's not it's very you can smell like earthy but it's not too much. And then once I'm done baking it, it goes right away. So I baked this so I could get ready to do the seeds. It's raining again today. Put that down. It's raining again today. So I feel, I want some chocolate. So I'm gonna bake me some little mini chocolate um, cakes today. I'm about to go do, so that's why I'm gonna bake on Monday. It's Monday. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn my thing off. And, uh-oh, Monday, ah, I did a ring. Uh, look at that, it's already, I like to see that, but you see it's 11, 21. I almost did all the rings. I've been doing a lot this morning. It's Monday, August 22nd. Yeah, <laughs> so I've been doing a lot this morning. I already did like all the rings. <laughs> That's my morning. I'm shocked that I'm like, I love it. I love it. I like to be productive. Start off like 5 30. I started cleaning around six something, I think it was. And then from there, so I'm going to bake today. I'm going to plant some of my broccoli and put it all underneath the, um, the light, mostly indoors. It's raining and it started raining this morning and stone thundering last night. It was thundering this morning. So most of my stuff can be indoors, but I like baking when it's raining outside. So I'm baking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm baking, I'm baking, I'm cooking. And I saw these pots that I wanted from um, Bear Bath and Beyond, so I'm going to order that. I'm really excited because I needed me another cast iron skillet, so I'm going to order that. And um, just in the house today. I'm always in the house, so but I'm going to be baking and cooking today. I love cooking, cooking, cooking. Quick meals though, not long. I can't, sometimes I like to be in there for a long period of time, but not too long. So anyways, here's my Monday. What I love about this recipe, it is a one pot chocolate cake mix. And I have another video on it that I did as a cake, but today I'm gonna be using this cute little cupcake thingy. Well, it's like a mini cake. I'm gonna be using this. I have all the dry in here and the wet is here so i like to keep it separate it's two eggs i have almond milk in here some vanilla extract um some oil and this is flour bacon powder cocoa powder and now i'm about to boil this water i have like one cup of water in here and i'm gonna add it to the end and crank it up 
So I'm gonna slow it down so I can add the boiling water to it. I don't wanna splash myself. You can see that the water is boiling. And I'm gonna slowly add that. There you go. Yeah, there. So I can. Now I could go. Pan. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. And then I love this thing because you can just pour it from there. I have the oven already preheated to 350. But I like my oven. Um, it's supposed to be the 350. My oven, you have to know your oven. My oven gets a little too warm, so I actually have it at 325. And I'm going to bake it for like 35, 40 minutes. And that's it. Okay, it's out and let me see if it's ready. Yep, it's ready. So I'm gonna let it cool and then I don't want frosting on mine. My son wants frosting on it. So I'm gonna let it cool and put frosting on it and let you see the end result. Here's the finished product. Um, I don't want frosting on mine. So, and he is about to have one. So I like to put the frosting up there per <laughs> whenever he wants it rather than just putting it up there because um, I just don't know. And sometimes he doesn't want frosting. So this is one, he's about to try one now and I'm gonna have this big one right there because I want chocolate.